Hello, my first graders. Today we are working on chapter seven, compare numbers. Okay, and that's page 395 in our math book. 395. You see this really pretty picture right here of them holding the butterfly. So if you're not on page 395, pause, find that page, and hit play when you're ready. All right, we're going to do an introduction to the chapter. Okay, our chapter is going to be about comparing numbers. Let's take a look at Curious George. How many colors do you see in the kite? Name the number that is one more. So first, let's answer the first part of the question. How many colors do we see in the kite? So let's look at the colors that we see. And we'll use the same same one because some of us might see more colors or less colors than others. So we see the color green. We see the color blue. Depending on your book, it looks a little bluish purple. We see a yellow. We see an orange. And how about this outline? What's that color? Black. Okay, so I see five colors in the kite. So we're going to go with five. Okay, so we start, all have the same number. You may see a little bit more or a little bit less. So we'll go with, we'll start, just use the word number five. So we see five colors in the kite. Name the number that is one more. So if you have five, what's one more than five? Five, one more is six. So one more than five is six. Right. Let's look at our next page. Okay. Show what you know. All right. It says draw lines to match. Circle the set that has one more. So look at our cups. So we're matching our cups to our saucer. Oh, I don't know about you, but I ran out. Which set has which set has more? Is it the cups or the saucers? The saucers, they have more. It has one more. All right, I want you to do this one. Match the table to the chair. Circle the one that has more. You can pause, hit play when you're ready. All right, so you should have matched table, chair, table, chair. And then what had more, the tables or the chairs? The table, the table had more. Okay, so that means, see, I had that extra one. Now this one says more, fewer. Circle the row that has more. Okay, so circle the row that has more. So we're going to connect, right? Oh, actually, no, we don't need to connect. We don't even need to draw lines to match. It just says circle the row that has more. So which one's more, the toolbox or the hammers? The hammers, right? More means a bigger amount, right? That has more, bigger amount. Circle the row that has fewer. Oh, we got to watch our words on this chapter. Fewer. Which one has fewer? Is it the bunnies or the carrots? Which rows fewer? The carrots, right? Fewer means less. So there are less carrots or fewer carrots. It says draw a ball for each glove. So we're going to draw a ball. We'll just do a circle, a circle ball for each glove. So does that mean that I can leave these ones empty? Nope. If it says for each one, that means every glove gets a ball. Okay, so each glove now has a ball. That means these are equal. The balls are equal to the gloves. They're the same number. All right, review words. Fewer. Okay, so fewer means less. Okay, more. That means a bigger number, right? If you have more something, you have, that means you have a bigger number of something. And same. Same also means equal, okay? If somebody has the same amount, that means they have an equal amount. 
So four and four, two and two equal or same. It says draw pictures in the box to show more, fewer, or the same number. So we have the number three right here. If we follow this up, the top one says more. Well, what is a number that is more than three? Yeah, if you said anything that's bigger, you could have said a hundred. Let's go with something that's not too much more because that's a fit in the box, right? And we don't want to make a hundred circles. So what's the number that's more? Could we go with five? Is five more than three? Yeah, so let's make five. Like I said, it could be any number. You could have 20, 70, 100, 1,000. But if we have to make circles, we don't want to make 1,000 circles. All right, look at this one. Three. What is, a num what is the same? So if we have the number three, how, and we want the same amount, how many, how many circles am I going to draw? Three, because three right? Three is the same as three. If I put any other number in there, it would make it not the same. And since we need the same, it has to match, right? Those are equal. Three is the same as three. Okay, last one. Fewer. So what is a number that is fewer than three? Fewer means less than three. Is one less than three? Yes. How about two? Is two less than three? Yes. Zero? Yeah, zero is a lot less than three. So why don't we do two? Two is fewer than three. It's less than three. Okay. Down here at the bottom, we're going to use those same words. Fewer, more, same. Let's see that right here too. Fewer, same, same, more. All right. We're gonna decide what word best completes the sentence. I see two white cats and four yellow cats. I see blank yellow cats, then white cats. So we have two white cats and four yellow cats. Okay, I see blank yellow cats, then white cats. So is four more than two? Is Four the same as two? Is four fewer than two? What do you think? Four is more than two. So I see more yellow cats than white cats. I use that word more. Okay, if you want to copy it right from your book, you can more. I see more yellow cats than white cats because four is more than two. If you need to pause at any time, you can. Dave has nine grapes. Anne has six grapes. Anne has blank grapes than Dave. Does Anne have more grapes than Dave? The same as Dave? Or fewer than Dave. Anne has six. Dave has nine. Is Anne's number more, the same, or fewer? Yeah, her number is fewer. Six is fewer than nine. Six is a smaller number. So we're going to write the word fewer in the blank. Okay. All right, our last one. Five ducks and five swans are at the pond. There are blank number of ducks and swans. So five ducks and five, five swans. What would we say about those numbers? They are, are they more than each other, the same as each other, or fewer? Five and five. Five and five are same. That's the same number. So they there are the same 
number of ducks and swans. So we want the word same. All right, if you need to pause, go ahead. If not, we're going to take... There's a game that you can play. Okay, and then there was vocabulary words, but I ripped them out because I want to show you some of the vocabulary cards that I have. So take a look. This is chapter seven. Here are some words that we're going to need for this chapter. We just talked about the word fewer and more. We need that because fewer, right, means smaller. Okay. I have four, I have four cubes, right? four cubes is less, right, or smaller or fewer than these eight right here, okay? Fewer. We know what fewer means, less, right, or smaller amount, and more means a bigger amount. So here's something that we're going to be doing this whole chapter. Less than, okay? Less than, we're going to be using those words, even writing those words. Less less than means smaller than. So remember, if you have less than somebody else, that means you have a smaller amount. If you have less cookies than your friend, it means you have a smaller amount than your friend. So 21 is less than 28. So here's the picture for 21. Here's a picture for 28. It's saying that 21 is less or smaller than 28. This sign right here is the less than sign. Okay. Think of it as an alligator. It's an alligator that's going to eat the biggest amount. Hungry, hungry alligator or hungry, hungry hippo, right? They eat the bigger amount. So its mouth is open, eating the bigger amount. Amount. It is back is turned to the smaller number. And we read it across. This has 21 and this has 28. So 21 is less than 28, okay? Alligator always eats the bigger number. We'll be using the sign a lot. Okay, the other term we need for this chapter is greater than, okay? Greater than means larger than. If I have a, if I have a greater number of cookies, than my friend, it means I have more than them, okay? So greater means the bigger amount, okay? So greater than means a larger than, okay? Or bigger than. This is our greater than symbol. Remember, the alligator's mouth always eats the biggest number. We're gonna do a lot of that, okay? Think about hungry, hungry alligator, hungry, hungry hippo. Its mouth opens up and eats the biggest What's the biggest number or biggest amount? So this is 34, right? Three tens, four ones. And this is 28, two tens, eight ones. The alligator's eating 34 because 34 is the bigger number. Okay, when we see the sign going this way, we can say 34 is greater than 28. Okay, so when we read it across, right, we have to think which one's the bigger number. Oh, this one is. So we'd say 34 is greater than 28. So we will be doing this for the whole chapter using these alligator mouths. So remember, alligator always eats the bigger number. All right, boys and girls, I um, take a look at your own vocabulary cards. Okay, there's other ones in there that you'll see review words too.